A. Vought, Morty Mozart, Boca Raton, Florida. This is my beautiful 1956 Mercury Montclair. It came out of California and the uh, paint was burnt, interior shot. So I built it looking like this, the 60s hot rods of the day. The engine is seized. I put a 350 Chevy engine in it and a 700R4 transmission. On the left side of the firewall was my original car. I sold that to build up the Mercury. It's my pride and joy, and now in Florida, four years, my daily driver. So I'm putting mileage on, a few little chips, but still beautiful. When I got it, the engine was seized, interior shot, and the paint burnt. Couldn't free up the original engine, so I put in 350 Chevy and the overdrive trans, so I have some good mileage. It weighs 5,100 pounds, quite heavy. The hood is lubed, done by hand. Each one, a lot of work. I did that myself, did some body work. Moved the antenna to the back. We'll look at that a little later. I repainted it myself in my garage. The original colors. If you look at this, this is my trophies last year. 50, 61 trophies, all first places, 14 this year so far, and the, the sign is made out of all scrap to hold it up. If you look at its chrome front rear right support, it's etched in, it's got a little deteriorating spots, but I would lose everything if I redid it, so I'm leaving it original. I had chrome hinges and some chrome T engine to make it look really nice. If you look to the left side, down here is the whole battery for my car, which keeps the engine bay nice and clean, and everyone comments on it. I do have neon, now everyone uses LEDs. They're on the side, it's too sunny to see them. And underneath the car, in green, to match the body colors. I put on the neons, which you can see under the hood. Unfortunately, too bright to see it under the car. On the firewall was my original Chevy, which I sold to build up the Merc. That's when I first started it. I had an artist paint that and the mural on the rear. Hi there. Yeah, it was professionally pinstripe. It was also a big thing in the 60s. I have it over the headlights, and they do have headlight covers. That was also a big thing. When you had your high beams, it didn't affect anyone. On the side of it, I have a tray with original prices from the diner I hung out when I built it. And everyone's fascinated, it's only 25 cents for a burger. All the flowers in the glass all over the car etched in, which no one does these days. And the flowers on the windows and on the front seat was to attract the girls to the car. And it worked, I married one. I put dice over it, which gave you supposedly bad luck in a day. Kept the cops away and the girls loved it. These are side pipes which are hooked into my headers. I tap them when I drive because they're extremely noisy. And it's 77, you get an awful headache. In the back window, I have the people that dance while I drive. 
I added a third brake light for safety. This is where I moved the power antenna and of course the pinstripe into the music of it. This was a diner in Coney Island, New York where I hung out in. And that was my car club. I have the original pipes did light up and you threw flames out the back. But unfortunately, I lost them over a speed bump. Now, of course, I have air shocks that I can raise it the back when I drive. It's I have all a pressure on the right I have side. Pressure on the right which side, which is to raise the car, which is to raise the car. Compartments on the side. Compartments on the side. That's the original New York plate. That's the original, and the original New York California plate, plate. And the original California plate. I do have CB, which was I do back have in its CB, day, which was long back antenna. in its day, that's the long on antenna. The side. On the side. No one uses CB today. No one uses Everyone's CB on today. Cell phones. Everyone's on cell phones. I did add the Continental I did kit, add the Continental which was big kit, in its day and the which Fender was skirts. big in its day and the Fender skirts. We'll walk toward the car and I'll open up the driver's door. Handles are shaved. And the button on my spotlights. Come on. Uh, pop it open. Dashboard's all pinstripe. And the goodies on the mirror was the mirror and my original wife's garter belt. She was mad when I took it out of the wedding album, but it matches the car. That's the black and turquoise one. It has manual seats, air conditioning I put in, power steering, power brakes. I converted the front to disc brakes, which you need for safety. It's an original 26,000 mile car. The seat frames are Merc, are, I'm sorry, Jaguar, and allowed me to have the bucket seats with the console. The interior was professionally done. Okay, the, the original panel, which is still good, Unfortunately, it's manual windows, and uh, it works. Keeps the car looking a little more original. Okay, on the front wheel, big thing in the 60s were Cadillac hubcaps. There wasn't a car in New York that didn't have them stolen off of them. I got mine legit, and I put a bullet in the center to cover up the Cadillac emblem. Just another little bit of custom. Thank you for checking out my 56 Mercury Montclair. Hope you appreciate it. Thanks again for viewing.